guys and welcome back to my channel so in a few videos ago i had this makeup look on and pretty much every single comment was asking for this tutorial the only thing that's different about this look and the one that i wore in the video is that i did switch up the lip and that is only because i showed what lip combo that was in my last tutorial so i'll have that link down below if you guys want to know the products but i'm also going to have that lip combo listed down below as well if you guys want to check out those products too but i just really love Loving this lip combo right now and I think this is a great look for every day it is a lot of face makeup because honestly the secret to an everyday flawless look is a flawless face where it just looks effortless so if you guys want to see how to get this look then keep on watching starting off I am using the Nivea post shave men's original balm you know you know what it's called everyone and their mother uses this I can see why it's an amazing product um, basically it looks like I'm being super rough with my skin but what you're supposed to do is rub it in until it gets tacky. So right here where it looks like I'm rubbing really hard, it's just tacky and it's getting harder to rub, but that means that it is good to go and will work really, really well. This is a new product that I just picked up. It's the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And the girl at the Makeup Forever store told me not to use this on my whole entire face because I'll absolutely hate it. It will change the foundation color. It will just be horrible. So I warm it up on the back of my hand and I put it on places that I want to be smooth and not crease. So I put this where I have pores, around my smile lines, and on my nose. And I do notice that those areas stay smooth all day long. You can use this under your makeup or on top of your makeup. This is the MAC Water Weight Foundation. I think it's new and I use it with a beauty blender and I am obsessed with it. I'm in the shade NW18 and I'm gonna show you here that literally the smallest amount of this product really covers your entire face. And the best part is that it looks like skin. So I wanted to leave a pretty big portion of this clip in here so you guys can really see just how well this foundation works because I, I tend to rush through foundation clips a lot because they're kind of boring. I think this one is really amazing and I did want you guys to see it. Now I go on to concealer and this is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I recently fallen back in love with this concealer and I don't know why I ever stopped using it. Yes, I do. I ran out of it and I never rebought it but I just bought it again. I also found out a great trick for contouring my nose. I contour the sides where the or I highlight the sides where the contour would go and then I contour down the middle and then you have two perfect little racetrack lines for where your contour should go so it really is like foolproof and it just guides the contour. It's really awesome. Then I go back in with the Graftobian Contour Cream Palette. I'm obsessed with this. I'll have a link down below if you guys want to get it for yourself. Kind of expensive, but totally, totally worth it. So I just contour my face, cheekbones, nose, forehead, jawline. You guys know the drill. Again, this is just so aesthetically pleasing. I had to just keep it in. But yeah, having that highlight as the guideline really does help with the contour, and it just gives it a path to go go down, whatever you want to say, and I just really think this method is great. And then I go in with a beauty blender and blend it all together at the same time. This really just makes it go easier, faster, and I think it helps it look a little bit more natural if you blend your highlight and contour together at the same time. So I'm just blending everything out, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. Now I go back in with an oldie but a goodie, and this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and this is made for the under eyes. The reason I love this so much is because it is just super lightweight and doesn't crease my concealer. It doesn't get cakey and just a really nice under eye powder. This is also a newer product for MAC. It's their Defining Sculpt Powder, I think, but this is great for me especially because I don't like the look of a lot of powder but I tend to have a heavy hand when I apply powder. And this is a gel-based powder, so it really looks like skin and it just smooths out your face and your complexion. And it's so natural and it's very hard to get too much of it. Then I also go back over the parts that I didn't set with powder, which is anywhere that I contoured, and I use NARS Laguna, which has a little bit of a shimmer to it. But that's just so that I look a little bit sun-kissed and a little tanner and not so dead, because sometimes when I use a matte, Bronzer all over my face. I just look really dead and one dimensional even though I'm using a bunch of different products. So this one just has a little bit of shimmer to do that. And then I go back in with a matte shade to contour. This is the Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. 
It's my favorite, it's my go-to. I'm really enjoying this product a lot right now. Then I obviously go back in and contour the sides of my nose. A little tiny bit of this product goes a super, super long way. I still like using an eye defining brush. I think it works the best for contouring and it just gives you really, really nice straight lines. And then I go back in with a blending brush and I blend that all together until it's nice and blended out. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is the pink one. I think it's number one. Oh no, maybe it's number two, whatever. I Let me explain why I'm doing my highlight before my blush. I used to always do blush then highlight, but recently, whenever I do that, I realize that my highlight kind of wipes my blush off in a weird way, and then it gives me this weird look to my blush and to my highlight. So I switched up the order and I'm really a fan of how it looks. So I do my highlight first and then I go in with my blush. I also just love this highlight. I think it's gorgeous. And I also will do the little exclamation mark trick on my nose to make the contour look better. This is Tarte Dazzled Blush. It's my favorite right now. It's probably the only blush that will ever look good on me for the rest of my life. I put this on just the apples of my cheeks and it just gives my face a nice radiant look and it just looks healthy and glowing. Then I go back in with the Makeup Forever Primer and I really make sure to warm this up on my skin before I apply it because if you apply it directly to your skin, you're going to wipe off your makeup. But I put this right back over where I put it to begin with and it's not taking off any makeup. It just smooths it out completely. So I love that. Now I'm going to go in and show you guys what I've been doing with my brows. I'm getting a ton of questions about it, so I'm going to show you. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. I go in and I define the top of my brow first, which is something that I don't normally do. And then I don't bring it all the way down to the tail, but then I'll go back in and I'll define the bottom of my brow. But as you can see, I don't really bring my line in. I don't really extend my brow. I just kind of outline the bulk of my brow, I guess you could say. And then I fill it in with whatever product is left on my brush of the dip brow. Then I go back in with this Kimco um, brow pencil and I like this because it is very precise and it really can give you hair like strokes. So I use this to extend my tail a little bit because using a brush with a dip brow can sometimes make it too thick. And then I'll extend the inner part of my brow and I'll go in and I'll make very, very small strokes to mimic hairs. And I just bring my brow into the desired shape that I want it to be, the desired length. I bring it in a little bit more just to make my nose appear a little bit smaller. And the farther I get in, the less pressure I'm using so that it is kind of like an ombre fade of a brow. I really like that look. And then after it gets to how I like it, I kind of just spoolie it once and then I stop touching it because I know if I keep playing with it, I'll just make it look messy. So then I go in with a brow gel and I set that. I don't really set the new hairs that I made. I just set my actual brow itself. And then I like to go in and define it even more with the Graftobian Contour Cream Palette. And I take the lightest one and I go right underneath of it with a super, super small brush. This is from Crown Brush. This has probably become one of my favorite brushes because I use it for so many purposes. So I'm going to have it linked below, but I love it. And I just define the underneath of my brow. And then when I have it how I like it, I start dragging the product down. And this acts as a highlight for the brow. And it also really, really, really cleans up the brow a lot. So after that is finished, my brows are done. And that is just how I've been doing my brows lately. I then go back in with the NARS Creamy Concealer. And I'll apply this to my lids so that my lids match my face and aren't a little red or patchy. If you have lids that aren't really transparent, you totally don't need to do this. But mine just always tend to be a little bit darker than my face. I go back in with my sculpting powder that I used on my face and I'm going to just set the concealer with this just to ensure that it doesn't crease because unfortunately this concealer does crease for me when I don't set it. This is the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder again and I'm just going in and contouring the socket of my eye. I like doing this because it really gives my eye dimension and shape and depth and it doesn't look flat and 1D. I'll show you in a minute that it really does just transform the eye and give it shape and bring it back to life. So I really don't skip out on this step. And then I also run this shadow along my lower lash line with a eye shader brush. This one is from Tarte, doesn't really matter what you use. And then I always go in with the Slate Eye Pencil by MAC and I'll outline the lower third of my lash line just to give it some shape and dimension again. Next I go in and I tight line my eyes. Since I don't wear eyeliner on the top, I do like to tight line my eyes just to make my lashes appear a bit more black 
black and my lash line a bit fuller. So this is the Urban Decay Zero Glide On Liner. And then I'm just applying um, waterproof mascara to my lower lashes. Make sure that whatever mascara you put on your lower lashes is waterproof because if not, there is a great chance that it will transfer onto your lower eye lid, under eye area, you know what I mean, and it just isn't cute. That was a really good angle by me. Good job, Tori. Pro filmer right here. This is floof. I use this on my inner corners all the time. People love it. People compliment it. That's what I use on my inner corners. And then I take nylon, which is a frost. So it really just shows up as a beautiful sheen underneath your brows. And I do this to highlight the brows. All right. I lost my microphone. This is the Too Faced Lip Primer Original. I love this. Um, I put this on first to prep my lips and it really just keeps the lip combo on a lot longer. I really do recommend this step. I think it works great. The lipstick that I use is Snob by MAC. I'm a huge fan of this lipstick. It is a great Barbie pink, but it's not too like, whoa, girl, you're Nicki Minaj 2009. Like, no, it's a really, really cute pink. It's nice and vibrant, and it really does liven up your face again. I really do enjoy this color a lot. And then for gloss, I like to go in with NARS Turkish Delight. Sometimes I'll use my Makeup Forever Artist Pro Plex Plexi Gloss in number 200. Sometimes I'll use NYX Sweetheart. Really, any kind of gloss you want will work with this, but today I just used NARS Turkish Delight, and I loved the combo that it came out as. So that is my look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you recreate it, please tweet me pictures. I definitely want to see. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.